Roger, who's next? Bill from Phoenix, Arizona. Welcome to the show, Bill. Thanks, Roger. Hi, hey, Bill. Hey, Coach. How do you... Hi, uh, Bill. Hi, Coach. How you doing, man? Outstanding. How Good. are you? Awesome. Welcome. Great to hear. <laughs> hey, how do you, uh, as an Arizona guy, Ken Wisenhunt comes to mind, how do you attract and maintain and motivate some of those assistant coaches assistance if you will like Ken Wisenhunt and can you talk about Ken a little bit yeah so Wiz is with us and if you guys don't know who Ken Wisenhunt is Ken's got a, a great resume and background uh, he was a walk-on at Georgia Tech who earned a scholarship and then ended up playing in the NFL for a long time I think about nine years and then went on to be in a great NFL coach assistant and then head coach uh, and he's been with us on the staff for the last you know couple years and what happens is, is you know, you get a chance to either meet these guys over the years, and when they're available, whether they're out of work or whatever it may be, you reach out, and obviously Penn State attracts people. People want to be a part of our community. They want to be a part of our game day. Um, and then you find roles where these guys feel like they can bring value, and, and Ken's been great. It's interesting that you brought his name up because he actually spoke to the team today. So in, in practice yesterday, we were going over a situation, and we do situations all the time and try to teach from them and learn from them. And Jair Brown, who we call Tig, Tig made a play in practice, and it was something that I needed to correct with the defense, kind of a coaching point on it. And one of the things that jumped out to Wiz is like, how Tig practices, it is game-like for him. And because he approaches practice that way, it allows him to transfer these things to the games easier. And, T and Wiz got up and talked to the team about that, how Tig had handled that situation in practice and how it reminded him of his time in the NFL with Larry Fitzgerald and how Larry practiced. So those stories are great. Um, they kind of reinforce the things we're trying to do, and, and Wiz has been a tremendous resource for us. Great. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. One note before we go to break. Uh, this will be the second road game Ohio State has played this year out of eight. And they haven't played before a crowd at Beaver Stadium in four years.